Hello there. My name is Peter Thompson and in this DVD I'm going to explain to you the intricacies of the club face being square to the swing line. It's sometimes quite tricky to understand this and a lot of people I teach find it hard in the first instance to understand it but I'm sure at the end of this DVD you'll understand it quite, quite clearly. Square face simply means when you hit the ball, the face is pointing where you want the ball to go to. That will be open, ball goes to the right, that will be closed, ball goes to the left. So square, open, closed. That's I think quite easy to understand when it is demonstrated like this, but not so easy to understand when we actually swing the golf club back. We need to keep the face square to the swing line. This is the swing line, and we need the face to remain square to the swing line, ideally at all times. I'll show you on my computer screen now some brilliant golfers keeping the face square. Ernie Els is a very, very good golfer. I admired all over the world for his majestic golf swing. He's won 70 tournaments, four major tournaments, and he keeps the face very square at the top of the swing. Square means this. His left forearm is where the bottom line is and the club face is square when the leading edge of the golf club where the line is is parallel to the left forearm. It's important to realize that the face is square to the forearm and not to the wrist. The left wrist is cut or bowed but the face is still square. We don't relate the club face to the wrist only to the forearm. Roy McElroy, an outstanding good golfer. Coming to the top of the back swing, and again I'll draw the parallel lines on. Left forearm, club face, and the club face, or the leading edge of the club face, is now parallel to the left forearm. Again, the left wrist isn't flat, and I repeat, the face is square to the forearm, not to the left wrist. One of my pupils is one of the uh, top ladies on the Ladies European Tour. Her name is Liz Young. And we'll go to the top of her backswing. And we're looking at just the club face. So we'll put some more parallel lines on there. One down the left forearm and one on the face. And as you can see, the left forearm and the club face are perfectly parallel, so the face is dead square, but the left wrist is not flat. This man is uh, Martin Young. He is actually Liz Young's brother-in-law, and I've taught him for about 12 years, handicap down to as low as plus four. He is extremely good 
and there's the left forearm, and there's the face of the golf club, parallel, but the left wrist is not square with the left face. So, back onto the man now. And hopefully you'll now realize that the club face is square when the leading edge, which is this one, is parallel to the left forearm and the wrist does not come into the equation. This golf club is a very short golf club. I made this about 30, 40 years ago and I use it all of the time in my studio. This is my teaching studio to show people that the leading edge, which is this one, not, not the whole of the face, just the leading edge, needs to be parallel to the left forearm, which would be there. A closed face would be that one, an open face would be that one. So ideally, we want to have the face square, so the leading edge and the left forearm are nicely in line. We will assume that your grip is okay and your stance is okay because without a good grip you won't get the face square. So face square to the target line and the face is now square at the top of the backswing because the leading edge is parallel to the left forearm. This little club it's very, very good for explaining this because with a normal golf club, at the top of the back swing, I can see my left forearm, I can see the face, but I can't see them both together. It's almost impossible. So I can see the face or the forearm but not together. So I made this for that reason, because now we can see the face and we can see the left forearm. Many of my, my pupils, they have on their glove dots, dots on the knuckles. And at a dress, we can probably see two of the dots. Halfway into the backswing we can probably see three of the dots and at the top of the backswing, and this is the important part, we can now see four of the dots. You won't have probably a short golf club but what you can do is use a normal length golf club and hold it down near the head then swing back, check. Left forearm, leading edge, parallel, and then see how many dots you can see. It'll be three or four. No dots, very closed. Hold the back of the left hand, very open. The average professional golfer would slightly close the face. I can't think of anyone, maybe one or two, but not very many people who play golf for money who would ever open the face. And the reason why they don't is this. In another of my teaching clubs, this one has got no loft at all. It's an old wooden club. I made this quite a long, long time ago and I use this to show people about the face. If you keep the face square, it's then fairly simple to hit the ball straight. If you open the face, you then got to use your wrists to try and close the face and then you've got that sort of motion. And that sort of motion, as you can imagine, is very complicated straight, open, you've then got to turn your wrist round 
and that is so complicated that no one actually does it. They do, however, sometimes close the face, which is there. The reason being, having closed the face, they can then drive their arms forward and keep the face square. A few golfers who do that have been Arnold Palmer, Lee Trevino, close the face, drive the ball forward. Close the face, drive the ball forward. I'll go back to my computer now and I'll show you Retief Goosen, who's won two major championships, and we'll look at what he does with the club face. So here's Retief Goosen. Nice clear picture in slow motion. So we'll stop the swing at the top of the back swing. Then we'll draw a line along the leading edge, which is this one. Then we'll draw a line along the left forearm, which is this one. And you will now see that those two lines are not parallel and the club face is closed. Closing the face isn't a problem, provided you know it's closed, and then you can drive the ball forward quite nicely. What for him? So, closing the face isn't a major problem. The average pro golfer would have the face square or closed, never open. They don't want their wrists having to roll over to hit the ball straight. Slightly closed. So a tricky concept to get your mind around, but if you can, it will be quite useful, especially this tip of having four knuckles showing, having the face square, parallel to the left forearm. Ideally, I think people like Jack Nicklaus, Tiger Woods, Justin Rose, they have the face very, very square. We'll go and look at Tiger Woods, shall we? Tiger Woods and, and Justin Rose. And we'll see where their club faces are. On the left, Tiger Woods. And on the right, we'll have Justin Rose. And then we'll study these fairly carefully. And you will see now, if I draw the lines in again, the parallel lines along the forearm, faces dead square in line parallel to the left forearm. Tiger Woods will be the same. Forearm, club face. There's a clearer picture. So both faces are dead square, but interestingly, Justin Rose on the right. See how there's a slight little kink in the left wrist, but the face is still square. And Tiger Woods has his left wrist, left forearm, completely straight. They're both square. They are both correct. So two brilliant golfers, both with square faces, but not with the same left wrist position.
So I think that explains about having the face square. We're only interested in this lesson in having the face square. The face can be square and the ball can go way out to the right if the swing plane is wrong. There's a square face, swing plane is wrong, ball goes flying out to the right. There's a square face, swing plane is wrong, and the ball goes flying out to the left. So this DVD, all of my DVDs, I try and concentrate on one single point, and the point of this DVD is to explain the club face. You can have the face dead square and still hit a very bad goal shot. If the face is square and the plane is good, then you can hit a very, very good goal shot. So I'll just recap on that. Face is square when the leading edge of the golf club, which is the bottom edge of the club, which people don't realize a lot of the time. So this is the bottom edge of the club. That's obviously my left forearm. And those two lines are level. Closed, open. To check this yourself at the top of the swing, you will probably see four knuckles. One, two, three, four. Probably three knuckles, probably four knuckles. You can practice your golf swing hitting no golf balls at all. Many of my pupils, they simply swing back and they just look, square, square. It's a great way of doing it. So there's the square face. This needs to be used in conjunction with my other DVDs on the grip and the stance and the posture, etc. But try and get the face. I think square is good. Tiger Woods, Jan Nicklaus, they've won between them 32 major championships and they both have the face square. It means you can hit the ball straight if you want to and you can draw the ball if you want to and you can fade the ball if you want to. So to me, square is, is the best. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much.